y'all. This is Michelle from The Scattered Scrapper. Welcome to my channel. I am so excited today because it is the first day of fall. And fall is my most favorite season out of the whole year. And since it's the first day of, of fall, I am so excited and ready to get into scrapping those fall memories and especially getting ready to start my October daily. I've never done one. This will be my first year and I'm excited to get started on this project. So since it is fall and I got excited, I decided to go through all of my uh, supplies and things to see what I could get to make a uh, an October daily. And so these are all of the things that I have gathered over the years and I wanted to share them with you today. So I think what we'll start with is more of the embellishment type things. These skulls here I got from my very best friend. She knows how much I love fall and especially Halloween and she sent them to me. I think they're really neat because they have that kind of um, hieroglyphic rainbowy effect to them. I'm excited to use those. Here I got these puffy stickers from Tuesday morning from the Beautiful Night Collection. Little skulls, they're so cute. And I like the little, the pastel colors, the pinks and the blues that are in it. And the candy corn. Oh, I love candy corn. <clears throat> picked, I picked out these numbers because uh, I thought they would be a good size for putting on the day. I picked these up, I think, last year. Yeah, last year at Tuesday morning. I don't usually go for the Jolie's Boutique things. For me, they're a little two-dimensional, but these are not that bad. These, I think, would do really well in um, a smaller project like the October Daily. And they're really, really cute. I love that pumpkin. Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> that little pumpkin grin, it's so cute. Creepy. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I really like these these um, buttons here, the fabric brads. I think that, oh, yep, I've already used some. This one is so pretty. And the little pumpkin is so cute. Little fall colors. And again, with the touch of the light blue, I just really like the the blue in a lot of the fall collections that have come out recently. And some twine here. Then um, black. I'll probably use the black the most, but maybe the gray as well. I have to wait and see. And I decided to use, I thought I might could use the um, this little uh, bag or um, tag and craft. Uh, these would be really nice to decorate and have little places to tuck things and along that line I got these burlap tags I honestly don't even know or remember where I got them but I thought the texture of these would be really nice added in as well as these burlap doilies you know I'm probably Michaels is where I got those and um not sure where I got this either. Oh, goodness. Hmm. Okay, Hobby Lobby most likely. That's where the burlap came from. Oh yes, it's the paper studio. So there you go. It's the paper studio, so it's Hobby Lobby. <laughs> now these, I was so excited to find at a Michael's sale, um, I think last week. Yeah, last week. So I'm really excited to use these. I think that the metal will bring a really nice touch. And I like different um, halloween -y words. Like bones and wicked. Spells. Foolish mortals. Those are a lot of fun. In addition to that, I, um, I found the the two trims. The, um, the gauze type wrap and this um, black twine. So I got that as well. Um, at the sale and I got one other thing where did it go oh well we'll find it around here somewhere 
It was the Tim Holtz skull and crossbones. Oh, here they are. Oh, these are so cool. I love these so much. I'm a huge uh, pirate fan. So skull and crossbone. It's my jam. I love it. Okay, let's see. Oh, these. I got these from Spiegel Mom Scraps. I love sequins. I like to use sequins um, like Nouveau Drops or enamel dots. I just think they bring a really uh, pretty little added sparkle. And um, these are a really pretty orange with some greens and, and yellows. And I thought they would just do very well with my um, October daily. I have a couple of uh, a couple of um, pocket cards that came from an Ellie Studio. Is it Ellie Studio? Yeah, Ellie Studio um, Halloween kit, and I love this card so much. I like candy corn, and of course, this is candy corn colors, so that will be perfect. And this one is so cute. Trick or treat stops. Like we can list all the places that we go. And I like the touch of purple. Um, along the same lines as that is these cute little acrylic pieces from Ellie Studio. The candy um, and the little bones. It's so cute. These are so neat. She had those um, in her shop. And um, also along with the Tim Holtz, I got these ribbons. I just think these um, skeletons are so cute. Ah. <laughs> and the um, orange and black, very classic. You never can go wrong with that. And this uh, ribbon of the jack-o'-lanterns is just absolutely adorable. I can't wait to use that. Let's see, and I saw some other uh, people hauling these there um, for cupcakes. You can put them in a cupcake, uh, a topper, it's a cupcake topper, my goodness, um, and they were on sale, so of course I, I had to get one of each. Can never have too many. I figure I'll probably use some from, for my October daily and then the rest I'll probably use in cupcakes because we'll probably make cupcakes and these I found at um, Walmart in their Halloween section it's so cute little pumpkin jack-o-lantern with the witch's hat and I like the glitter I was trying to find some Halloween um, some Halloween specific sequins and I was not able to find any anywhere that I went and looked um, but I did see they, these are so cute too they're just little spiders little bitty spiders and I figured these probably wouldn't add too much bulk I'm not exactly sure how to attach them just yet I'm not sure if if the glue would hold but I thought they were adorable um, not regular spiders. I, I'm not a huge spider fan, but the, uh, the Halloween spiders are very cute. So, and here's some twine. I got this, um, from Tuesday morning from a, a, a while back. And I like the, the black and the orange and the white. Um, I pulled, oops, I pulled this, um, Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist out. I don't know that I would necessarily use this color, but I wanted to remind myself that I have these. Um, so I pulled that out just to be uh, a reminder. And let's see. Oh, from Ellie's studio, I got these um, fall embellishment, the leaves and the acorns. Um, we do a lot of things in October that's not necessarily Halloween related. So these will look really well on those kinds of pages. Um, let's see here. Um, I found these on clearance and thought they might be um, good to use since they're just a basic black and white. And these as well. I thought these would um, make really good journaling spots or 
um, embellishment and cluster bases. I got these for my birthday and I was really excited because I had seen another YouTuber who had some nesting tombstones and jack-o'-lanterns, I, I believe it was. And when I saw these bats, I was so excited. They're so cute. And I got the pumpkins. Oh, they're so cute. I can't wait to use these. I think you might could even use those to help make shaker pockets. And I got these as well. The um, stars and the bats and the little spider web there. With the happy Halloween. Time to get spooky. These little jack-o'-lantern faces are adorable. And I really like that it comes with the die, the dies to help cut those out when you stamp them. That'll be a lot of fun. I want to try my hand at mixed media. Um, I found these up on Tuesday morning, and I just um I like skulls. I have liked skulls for a long time. We just love Halloween. Here we have some spooky words from Tim Holtz. The Halloween clipping stickers. So these will be really helpful. I like to embellish with words. So having a lot of tiny word stickers is very helpful. I go crazy with the words. I pulled um, this stamp from Ellie Studio because I plan to do some spooky October reading. And I wanted to use this to make a page about the books that I read in October. That'll be a lot of fun. I have a lot of Ellie Studio things. I think they were having a sale back in the summer um, and I picked up many things. So this is for, well, it's for Thanksgiving mostly, but some of these things like the Black Hearts I could use um, the orange heart we could use of course when, whenever we get together we can gather together so there'll be some some things I can maybe use with that and then here is the fall one so more pumpkin please I love the the shape of these leaves I could have a whole sheet of those I think they're so pretty Family fun, sweater weather. It has definitely been sweater weather these last few days. Um, I uh, I love fall, but I don't like the cold. <laughs> so, these pocket cards here are from Ellie Studio. Um, this is from the the Halloween kit, and just look how cute these ghosts are. And it's got the uh, candy corn on it. I just think that is adorable top five favorite sweet treats hocus pocus we're think I'm thinking about doing um, the some Halloween movies with the family this year and hocus pocus is one of them we haven't seen that one in a long time and I don't, I don't even think that my girls have even seen see there's that card again trick or treat stops oh Halloween details Costume, number of trick-or-treat stops, pieces of candy received, pieces of candy handed out, favorite moment. The pieces of candy received every year after we go trick-or-treating, the girls will get in the living room and they will dump out all the candy from their bags into the floor and go through and start trading their candy for um, the ones that they like. They've done that for years now. I love this card. It's so pretty. These different shades of orange and the white and the polka dot. That'll be a really pretty title card. And here are the jewel tone labels from Ellie's Studio. I like to use labels to, to put journaling on my cards. I do a lot of um, Pocket card journal. We have some tags from Pebbles. I'm not really sure which collection these came from. 
they were just there Tuesday morning, and but I thought that they would do, they would make really great Halloween pages. Attach the toe toe tags. Hmm. I picked up these Heidi Swap bows. I like the black and white ones, the polka dots. The silver would probably go. I'm not too sure. These look a little Christmassy to me. But these black and white ones will definitely look really good. And I think that's a sparkly, glittery black bow underneath there. Okay, here in this little basket here, I just threw some various washi tapes that I got. I, I got these when I picked up the... Tim Holtz things. These these little skulls are so cute. And the bats and witch hats. And cats. They're cute. And I've decided to, on this one because it's black and white and I like the floral. I thought it would be a, a nice um, addition. As well as my glitters. Gotta have some sparkle. So I have the black and silver and gold. Got the orange with bats on it. I think I got these from like the Michaels um, like dollar bin where you get so many for a dollar. This one is a gray with a, a script. Really pretty script on it. I thought that one would be really pretty. And just a, another black and white. I got several skinny washi tapes here with some gold stars and black, a black and white stripe, silver heart, arrows, another black and white stripe, and a black and white polka dot. Hope you can see that there. And also, along with the skulls, the sticker skulls with the holograph that my friend sent me. She also sent me these, and I've not had an opportunity to use them yet, so I'm very excited to use them in this project. Um, I pulled this Distress Oxide in Carved Pumpkin from T uh, Tim Holtz as well. I have some more uh, Distress Oxide inks, so I Pulled this one to help me remember to look through those to see if I have any more that I would like to to use. The last thing that I want to show you are the dies and stamps that I pulled out to go with this project. I pulled this one out because I thought that it would be really pretty to do the flowers and the leaves in the fall colors and these would make good dry branches. I also picked out this one for this one right here mostly because I think that one would make a really good um, dry branch scraping against a window type of embellishment or look. I pulled out these for this number set. I might use these for the numbers. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or use the stickers that I pulled out, but I think it would be fun to do these in, in the different colors like the oranges and the purples and the greens and the black. I picked out these because I love mason jars and I think these would be really cute with little spiders or pumpkins or things in them. So that'll be fun to see what I can do with that. Again I got these for for the leaves. This one's really pretty. I like this one a lot. Pretty flower. I pulled this one for the background stamp. This here would get, I think gives a kind of a spooky look. And you can never go wrong with a good wood grain. I believe that's a bow bunny. I think it's this, um, the same as these. We have a crackle, another wood grain, and this burlap looking texture here. These would be good for in, for in the background. I got this at Tuesday morning. It's the Pebbles. I'm not sure of the collection that it's from, 
but I love the candy corn and this little pumpkin. It's so cute. The candy and look at these little ghosts in this haunted house. So adorable. Can't wait to use these trick or treat. <laughs> Here's the crepe paper after dark. The Halloween trick or treat. The spider web in the corner. All you need is treats. And the jack o' lantern is cute, and these little bats. And this another set. Halloween. I like the stars, moon and stars, and the jack o' lantern, and Kaboo. It's very cute. I pulled these because zombies. I originally bought these to document the pictures from my daughter's 16th birthday. She had a zombie laser tag on Sweet 16 where everybody either dressed up as zombies or survivors and they would go out and do the laser tag game, Zombies Against Survivors. They had a, a lot of fun. And I picked this out because October gives me another option of being able to do the date. That's all for the embellishments I picked out. In my next video, I want to go through and show you the Halloween collections and papers that I want to use. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!